virtual infrastructures in organizations are evolving, and as a result, the idea that a virtual environment can simplify the management of server deployments, streamline maintenance, and reduce capital and operational costs is becoming a reality. Fortunately, there are tools available that can ease virtualization for your organization. Hey there, everyone. I'm James Hilliard, and on today's Connection Point podcast, pleased to have Julia Lee on board, VMware Product Line Marketing Manager. Julia is here to discuss VMware vSphere with operations management and how it can help you avoid performance issues, capacity plan for the future, and forecast IT spend. And Julia, thank you for taking time to join us here. You've got a great little vantage point from where you are at VMware. And I was hoping you could start things off on this discussion by talking about some of the challenges that you hear most from businesses that they say they're facing when it comes to virtualization. Most common issue is definitely VM sprawl. When a business starts virtualizing, they start provisioning VMs. You never see it, and these VMs most likely end up being idle VMs. And what this typically results in is inefficient usage of your capacity. Um, Second, when you virtualize, people tend to allocate the same CPU and memory in the virtual environment as they do in the physical world, and this leads to oversized VMs. In fact, what I see is 9 out of 10 VMs in a customer's environment are over-provisioned. They're too big, and they don't need to be. And the path of least resistance that customers tell me is it's easy to throw more hardware to ensure performance, but what this leads to is inefficient usage of your resources. In other words, you end up wasting the money that you've already sunk into your hardware since you're not using this efficiently. And then finally, I would say it's definitely important to make sure your virtual environment is running smoothly. You should be the first to know whether your IT environment is at risk. It's always easy to point fingers at the person who is in charge of that virtual layer. So having the ability to quickly troubleshoot, to pinpoint the root cause, and resolve the issue before it impacts your users is extremely critical. Well, Julia, given those three major challenges you've outlined, what makes vSphere with operations management really a good fit to solve those challenges? So vSphere with operations management, it's built on vSphere. This is the most trusted virtualization platform, and we now add key operational management capabilities to it. So that means we have capacity planning in vSphere. You can understand your current consumption trends and then extrapolate this out over time. And this helps you forecast capacity shortfalls. You can do with budget planning. Uh, you can also optimize the efficiency of your IT infrastructure. So you can identify your idle VMs, you can right-size the over-provisioned VMs, and then you can increase your overcommit safely without impacting your performance. And then finally, you can improve your performance. That means gaining insight to your environment's health. You'll be able to identify issues emerging before they actually impact your end users. And keep in mind that traditional tools will flood your inboxes with alerts. For example, if your CPUs hit certain thresholds, you'll get email notifications, and that's very annoying. So with vSphere without management, it benchmarks to your environment's behavior. If you've got a CPU that's running high, and this is pretty typical for your environment, you'll be alerted only when the normal threshold is not met or is exceeded. I want to have you give us a brief overview of how vSphere with operations management really works, so walk us through a couple of the slides here. Sure. So if you're familiar with vSphere, you're familiar with vCenter Server. And this slide, what it shows you is just two GUI snapshots. It shows you vCenter Server, which collects the real-time performance data that's being pumped out of your virtualized host. vCenter Server stores this data. But when you have vSphere with operations management running, it'll take this data, run it through a bunch of algorithms, and it'll pump out a dashboard view of your virtual environment's health, risk, and efficiency. And you'll see those three badges on the slide. This is a view of your global data center, and you can see overall things are pretty healthy, there's a little bit of risk, and then things are running pretty efficiently. Now, you can search for a particular VM. That means you can drill down in a particular environment, and you see that the health risk efficiency badges are slightly different, and there might be uh, room for improvement, if anything. Now, the next view gives you an idea of how you can look at capacity shortfalls. In this case, it shows the hierarchy of your data center. So you can drill down and you see that in um, a data store, there, this data store in particular is very low on capacity. Now the next slide shows you 
you can do some capacity what-if analysis. So you look at the actual number of VMs that you have deployed today, what is your count capacity, and then what is the capacity state today. Now, extrapolating this out over time and assuming you're uh, continuing the same consumption rate, this is where you'll see a uh, capacity shortfall at this point. And then what if you were to increase your consumption behavior? Now, this is you'll meet your shortfall much earlier. So you can do this type of analysis within vSphere with operations management. I've walked over the product overview now, and what I want to talk about briefly is just uh, the return on investment that you will see by running vSphere with operations management. And what we did was uh, do, we did a study looking at customers with vSphere and then uh, another set of customers running vSphere with operations management. And what we found was that customers in the latter bucket, they tend to um, achieve an increase in capacity utilization, consolidation ratios, and obviously this leads to increased hardware savings, 30% on average. In addition, you also save time when you're trying to troubleshoot and um, resolve performance issues. So our customers uh, find, on average, a 30% reduction in their mean time to resolution. And speaking of those customers, Julia, can you tell me, you know, kind of what they're saying, real-world customer success story? So my favorite customer is the mortgage bank that's based in Texas, and he's faced with uh, growing or pretty in place IT infrastructure that will support 2x business growth over the next few years. And he was struggling with this virtual platform that he had in place that was fairly unstable, unreliable. So he started looking at vSphere, and then he discovered vSphere with operations management can actually help him drive down IT costs. And that's a fairly common challenge that our customers are dealing with. What he did was he and his team deploy vSphere with ops management on 45 hosts and 100 machines within a really short time frame. And he saw 70% reduction in hardware costs. He got comprehensive visibility into his IT environment through the dashboard. Um, a great quote from him, he says, for the first time ever, we're able to capacity plan to look ahead and forecast what we're going to need for the next one, three, or five years. So for him, he was really able to start positioning IT as um, a reliable, strategic business partner. He can actually forecast his investments, and that was something he couldn't do before. Julia, let's take the last 30 seconds here or so and talk to me about the importance of not doing this alone, right? Choosing an IT partner, the right IT partner to help you through this process. Well, choosing the right IT partner means that you've got to look for somebody with a wealth of experience. They work with a number of customers and have seen their, your situation in particular. Um, they can help you with deployment and they can transfer their knowledge on how to use the product in the best way within your environment. Hey, with that, Julia, we're going to wrap things up. Folks, if you do want to learn more about vSphere with operations management and the virtualization services that can help ensure your organization is ready to build an infrastructure that is ready for tomorrow, then turn to the PC Connection family of companies. Contact your account manager today to learn more about beginning your next IT project with an assessment and engaging their on-staff expert. If you'd like to learn more online, go to pcconnection.com or you're invited to call 1-800-800-0014. If you'd like to email us, you can do so, connect at pcconnection.com. With that, we'll wrap things up. Again, my name is James Hilliard. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Connection Point. Oh,